this visual of it's in verse three, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Um, it was really intriguing to me, again, just considering the time frame of talking about the scripture and getting into the language of the scripture and then sitting with him, that when we look at this word planted, it really means transplanted. It's a, a tree that was growing somewhere else and God transplanted it to another place. And what a beautiful image that is. God wants us to be in a place that's healthy and good. God wants to be us to be in a place where we're protected and we're cared for, where we are near water, where we have the abundance of what we need, and where we can bear much fruit. It's a beautiful image. It's a beautiful image to know that God is transplanting trees to be near to God. And I think about this time, this time when we think about Lou, that he has been transplanted. The life in him continues on. Kim, it has been the most joy to see you care and love for Lou. Your gifts and talents, your compassion, is unceasing. It has been just a privilege, an absolute privilege. It is time for Lou to be transplanted next to the water where he could continue to blossom and bloom. What a beautiful passage that he chose. I don't even know he realized it. <laughs> beautiful thing about God, that God picks us up where we no longer can thrive, picks us up where God knows that we can no longer bear fruit, picks us up where we know that death will come, and moves us to a place where death will not reign. I love that he picked I tried to practice my Latin. It didn't go well. <laughs> I um, pulled up a video um, trying to learn, um, and the two things I said right away was there are a lot of different ways to speak Latin, and um, there are a lot of different ways, to, the pronunciations, and it takes a long time to learn. So all I heard was grace about, <laughs> just grace about. And then I heard someone here actually might speak Latin, so I thought, oh, what? <laughs> So I will not say this well, and I apologize ahead of time. No more is to be done. Not even death. It is one of the most beautiful gifts that we have in Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior. Not even death. Just when we think that there's a time where death will reign, we are transplanted. We are moved to a place where we can continue to thrive to grow deep roots, to allow our branches to go up to the sun, to receive the abundance of God, the fullness of God, to be cared for by God. No more is to be done, not even death. It is a privilege to be able to share today. He was a great, great man. He continues to be a great man in all of our hearts. May we all take a lesson in his book and slow down a bit and look around. Not just look at the green and the trees, but look at all the variations of green and the trees and how those leaves are attached to the beautiful branches, the trunk to the root, to the green grass, to the fertile ground. The details in creation, they speak so much about who God is. And if God can put that much detail in a tree, in the waters, in the flowers that bloom, in the bugs that crawl around, how much more does he put in you, the children he loves so very, very much? I appreciate the way in which Lou loved nature and knew to find God there, because God was in every single detail. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to be in communion with Lou to be able to be in partnership with, 
because God is also found when we gather together, when we share life together. And so he gives us a great lesson. Enjoy everything around you. Take it in. Embrace it. See the mystery in it. Be okay with the mystery in it. Be curious. Ask questions. But also ask questions not only of God, but of one another. Lean in to one another. Be together. Enjoy the company that we can share. And like Lou did, approach one another with an open heart and questions, ready to do that dance of conversation that allows you to make sure you don't step on your toes. <laughs> but yet there's grace and, and compassion there that allows you to get to know one another, to learn from one another to be in this extraordinary life and mystery together. No more for them, not even death. At this time, we are so grateful. So grateful for Lou, the extraordinary man that he was, the legacy that he leaves, the imprint that he leaves on all of our hearts, the example that he gives for all of us. And today we praise God that now in this moment, he is sick no more. The pain is gone. The turmoil and the tribulations are gone. He is fully planted. His roots are deep. His branches are high. His fruit is beautiful. And his fruit is abundant. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. We end this service and begin the journey ahead with a song of praise, with songs of Alleluia. Alleluia to God. Uh, the song is printed there in the order of worship. If you would stand as you are able to please stand, all creatures of our God is singing.
holy God, you gave us your son, we love you. You gave us an extraordinary man who walked this world and life well. I know he is hearing good and faithful service. Well done. Thank you for the gift that you have given us in him. And now it is time that we return him to you until we meet again. In Jesus' holy name, amen. amen. I have a benediction before we leave. It is going to be in Latin, and it will not be sounding okay. <laughs> so I'm quite sure that if Lou is listening, he's going to get a laugh out of this. <laughs> Bear with me here. Corpus Domini Nostri Estus Christi, Custarat Am Tuam Invitam Eternam. Amen. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ safeguard you now your soul through everlasting. Amen. Amen. May you go in peace in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.